welcome back well we're in the top view at the moment and we're going to select line from our splines and um, we'll put this we'll start this spline about here so left click press shift now um, it bends on this section here so I want to put a vertices there press shift again a vertices there and a vertices there and then bring it down and end the vertices round about there right click to end the action let's now convert this to an editable spline and then we can pop into our left viewport L on the keyboard and Z for zoom now it is along there we might not be able to see it but it is there okay let's uh, zoom out a little bit we're going to bring it up to there we can just just about see it white against white hmm okay let's pop down and go vertices well I can see that there, those there, now I know there's one over here somewhere it should be in line here okay so we're gonna start with this one there it is and let's take that all the way down I want it more or less in line because this section actually comes down here for a little bit okay this here is our fuselage now then let's have a look here okay let's um, bring this one down we know that's not quite right there and have that one like that what I'm going to do now is just convert this one and make it smooth that's it that doesn't look too bad okay it's in there right let's pop up to line and we're going to apply a sweep now we've got the bar we don't want the bar we actually want the cylinder here okay now we've got that let's just pull that down a little bit and now we're going to go into perspective viewport let's have a look that's not positioned too badly it just needs to come over here a little bit and maybe up just a touch let's have a look maybe across that's not too bad here or is it let's just we know it comes in to that part of the fuselage let's have a look at the radius can we bring this down just a touch say 0.25 yeah that looks that looks reasonable enough okay let's now convert this to an editable poly there we go. Now, let's pop round here. Zoom out a little bit. Because what I want to do is press shift and make ourselves a copy. So, OK for that. Let's just check, make sure that's fine. Zoom in. Yep. Yep. That looks okay. Great. And now let's pop into our top viewport. T on the keyboard. Let's go Z for zoom. And I can see that section there. So, back into our create. In our splines. I'm going to go for a line again. 
and I want to take it from there, left click, press shift, bring it across to the center there, left click to turn that action. Now let's um, actually we'll convert that to an editable spline. Might as well do that here now. And apply a sweep. Make that point two five centimeters. Press return. Let's now convert that to an editable poly. Pop into our left viewport, L on the keyboard, Z to zoom. Let's come right out. There we go. Let's take that up to that point there. Zoom in a little bit. Perspective view. Pop around the other side. That's it. In we go. And let's just position that down now. Just there like that. That's not too bad. Okay. Right, let's um, click off that for a moment. Select that piece there. And we're going to attach that piece, that piece, and that piece. Let's now switch off attach, deselect, I want to select the fuselage, go Alt X, zoom around, let's select one of those pieces again. Into our top viewport zoom. Let's now deselect that. Uh, into the create panel we want a line and I want to take this line from this midpoint here up to roughly about there. Right click to end that action let's convert it to an editable spline there we go um, we're going to apply a sweep and in this instance we want a bar again into our left viewport L on the keyboard let's go zoom now we know it's way down there somewhere so we just want to bring this up to that position there. Now we know we've got the angle from the top section but what we want now is the angle here. So back down to line and we're going to go into vertex. We know the vertex is around there somewhere so let's bring that up and bring it up roughly about there. We know that the reference material behind is slightly out so I'm going by what we've got here the model we've got here okay that's that part there let's just have a look at this here again fine back into sweep um, let's give it a grey steel grey colour say okay into perspective mode now because I've got to get this right here it needs to come across that section there and maybe down a touch we also need rotating slightly let's just pour it into vertex again for a moment select that bring that there 
that should be fine and up to sweep and let's just modify the angle of this now which way does it go that's the way it goes round about there so minus 14 bring this over try it a little bit more get that going in there bring it back it really is just a case of um, playing around with it for a bit we're in perspective mode there you see it's coming a little bit proud there so back to vertices let's grab that one pull it in a little bit more back up to sweep sounds like sooty and sweep doesn't it and if you don't remember those tough ok yep we'll call that that so let's um, convert this to an editable poly pop into the top viewport and let's do a mirror copy copy say OK bring that across into there like that perspective viewport round we go that's not three bad for time being yep now we are going to attach these um, to this section at some point but not just yet let's zoom out a little bit okay unhide um, the wing the tail section well, let's have a quick deck render yep it's getting there it's getting there okay well same as usual mindful of the time uh, we'll call that it for this session and I'll catch you in a short while.